I've got the horn bow sitting there ready to do the sinewing now. I've got it up in a much more accessible position. I've moved all my clamping out the way down this end so I can get access here and I've just clamped a little block thusly to hold this end over stop it all pulling back when I do the sinew so I've got good access I've got a nice gap round this side I'm going to give it a good scrub with hot detergenty water rinse it off well and then do me sinewing there's me hide glue just soaking in water initially to soften up once it's softened up a bit then I'll put it in the hot water bath to get it properly liquid there's me soapy water ready to ready to give it all a good scrub first I think that was one of the problems before where, where I did some of the sinewing it wasn't sticking down well this side seems to have done all right but this side where I'd filled in that groove, I mean that all just pulled out and it's been cracking so I'll give that a, a good old scrubbing and try and get the sinew on nicely don't know if I might pick at some of that, see if it comes off we'll see, I'll probably do it with rubber gloves on as well so I don't get finger grease all over it but there again, the Native American Indians and such like used to chew sinew and chew the glue to make it soft I dare say they didn't wear rubber gloves who's to know perhaps saliva helps degrease it all now I've got the extra sinewing done I've gone over the bit where the wood was exposed and a little bit here where there was a a bit of a groove but mostly in this area where it was a bit weak I've still got it blocked up there I shall exert some patience which is very difficult and just go away and leave that alone I'll take it off there in the morning probably uh, what I might do is I might try once my glue's cooled down I might put a lid over it and stick it in the freezer otherwise it just goes off, goes mouldy quite quickly that stuff anyhow once that's drying off I can get on and play with some other bows and stuff